Okay. Let's see if we can do this with recording now. Welcome to Where Art. You, this is going to be a, uh, I guess a go video or kind of a rant and go rant go. I don't know what to call it rant, but yeah, uh, kind of a go video. I'm just gonna slightly discuss some style changes in my work that I plan on doing and some hopeful future skill learning okay let's go with the first one we all know that comic book art has many styles many different ways of making a comic book I'll probably go over some old comic books if I can find them like the Dick Tracy and stuff like that but I'm sort of a one that I found I was trying to go to a public library trying to find some references some references on animals techniques of doing watercolor inking drawing this and that and the library didn't have as much as I hoped but it did have a very large Novel section. Yeah, I picked this up. Why not? This I would call the tried and true comic book format. This is part one. This is where comic books started from. Simple design, simple coloring, not a whole lot of inking, not a whole bunch of different shadings and colors. What we would call flat or or cell shaded in concept but you know to me this is before cell shading but I was looking for a cartoon style so I decided to pick this up uh, this is probably more this is probably not done strictly by call Arcs, but I'm not too sure I have to look at the history of this. I decided to pick this up because I wanted an example of cartooning, raw essence cartooning. And I started to notice that some of the things of this format would easily lend to web, web design as well because doing web comics because it's simple. You're not fighting for word space. characters are relatable and interesting you know it's very a simple format this would be an easy method for anybody to make a make a web comic or a regular comic book out of but you know that's going into the history of comic books so I'm not gonna go that far I'll probably pick up a couple book history old style comic books from back in the 19 I think I can get as far as the 1920s on that decided to pick up this Disney book because Disney, of course, is one of them. So I have to look over and see how the design went. How can you do this? I can set this up. And of course, this style can be done even more advanced. Many of these comic books I've seen kind of run into this simplicity of, of art, of character design, and go into more complex modern style. But to me, this is still going to be a very easy, simple, constantly capable of being done, transferred and everything. This is probably about the most complex it will get for inking. But still brings out the information. To me if you can draw if you can draw this don't 
don't get mad, try to do this. Until you can do that. That's about all I'm going to show on this because this is not supposed to be a open book or show book or anything like that. I wanted to do more cartooning and learn how to create simple character designs and character and kind of humanize animals. You know, it's good to have more than one style because you never know what your customer is going to be or your company you're going to work at. To worry about having one and only style and be fearful of someone stealing your style is a waste of time, energy, and money. So long as you do the correct copyright information, LLC, legal documents, you go to legal zoom. Matter of fact, even if you make a drawing and scan it into the computer, it is dated. The court system will see that thanks to the copyright act that has came about, your digital image will lock in the time and place that it was made. So you don't have to worry about someone stealing your artwork. It's time that artists start trying to fear. Pop artists didn't pop art didn't have people suing each other for doing pop art. Abstract didn't have people suing for people with abstract. Dada and cubism ab uh, and um, impressionism I never heard of artists suing each other because they did the same thing matter of fact they were happy that other people were doing the same work so long as you got these two hands no one can steal your style there's no way anybody can truly copy your work unless they truly copied your work then yeah, that's the time you should sue. But to me, to be beating up people for fan art is a waste of energy. Because Marvel and DC will be looking for people who can draw Spider-Man and Superman. If you can't show me that you can draw Spider-Man and Superman and do sequential artwork of those characters, which will be considered fan art, I wouldn't hire you. Because I don't know if you're going to be able to draw the character. That's my opinion. To me, I think it's best to take the fan artist and work out a deal. You know, hey, you can do this fan art. Cool. I'll buy it off you. And I will sell that a fan art, not you. You know, it's kind of a market that is being disconnected from the comic book industry. And it's a sad thing about it. Now I'm coming to this because I wanted to get better at my superhero drawings. I kind of realized that a lot of the comic book feel kind of stays within the same thing as the cartooning of Disney. Stay within the panel, which is not always necessary. As you can see, this helps break up the story and make you go up and down with your eyeball. And that's what I was wondering about. It's this is all digital, so it's not the hand drawn, hand colored method, which I really want to get into. So I'm gonna get better at my drawings, better at doing this kind of work. I'm not really sure that much. This requires a lot more inking, a lot more figure drawing. You really need to know figure drawing to the T to reach higher levels. Where cartooning, you don't have to have that much figure drawing. If you can pass drawing one and know how to and know how to draw animals and understand the physiology of an animal and a human. You should be able to make a decent cartoon that, even if you don't, you can still make a pretty good cartoon. 
but if you want to excel and, and go higher and be more light you might need to change and go more into realistic drawing just to make your cartoony characters look more acceptable but that's just a style because styles change what is accepted today will may not be accepted tomorrow so this right here this style of doing this comic book is accepted now one day this may no longer be an accepted style especially with 3d animation slowly rising I've seen 3d animated well 3d animated clips as comic books they don't look so bad but I think it's a lack of skill or lack of knowledge or experience or something there that is not reaching this level it almost is too flat even though it's a 3d animation it's there's something somebody needs to do more with that 3d animation to really make it pop as the new comic book liking and then we got manga Oops. I think it works both ways. <laughs> I'll just pick this up because it was just interesting for a manga comic book. Most mangas are always small and traditionally being read this way. Manga to me is kind of weird because it, unlike comic books and cartooning, manga goes all the way to the edge. And sometimes even into the gutter. This is mostly using zipper tone throughout the entire thing. There's very little inking going on here. A lot of solid blacks, zipper tones instead of gradients. This was like a clear difference in the American style comic books versus the cartoony. And to me, a lot of the a lot of the styles I've seen have been bounced between manga, cartooning, and sometimes American comic book style. I'm gonna get better at manga, but I guess that'll be depending on my community if if I get a couple more people who can like and subscribe and leave some comments about some things. I ain't gonna show the entire book, of course. That'll be just taking away the entire story. But I'll have to buy a whole lot of zipper tone and Sharpies and some black ink. Mostly zipper tone. To really do this do a main a true manga style comic book. Manga is different because from what I was trying to tell a friend was manga is different because of the fact that the background is very detailed but the character themselves are simple big eyeballs for expression not very big lips but then it can be cartoonish and exaggerated but you still need to know figure drawing to correctly do this kind of artwork and then everything else so you still have to take drawing one, you still have to take figure drawing, you still have to take um, life drawing. Trust me, I hated life drawing. Seeing some ugly butt naked people. I didn't have pretty butt naked people, I had ugly butt naked people. <laughs> and sometimes they had bad attitude, that's why they were ugly. <laughs> but Mingo, you see how much space that is for text? I mean, wow, that's a lot of wasted space. And that's the difference between manga and, and I think American comic books. We don't have this much. I, I kind of fall into this. I have put a lot of words in my comic book just like this on one page and squeezed it in there. I mean, it, you couldn't even barely read the sentence and, and what was going on. And bad enough, I'm dyslexic. I could barely spell and read 
uh, read, I mean, can't barely spell half the words, but you know what I'm saying. Said, so, you know, that was my fail. And in American comics, you never see this. Uh, this doesn't normally show up. This is probably zipper tone instead of hand inking. That's a real difference to me. That's one of the major difference. Very simple drawn face. Very little lines. Very little aging. Very little expressive expressive lines. Very little information of bone structure. Very simple, but. background and special effects all solid really bringing the attention to me it causes the character to pop out you put a simple open space your eyes are going to rest there because of the fact there's not so much stuff going on there so it's going to draw your attention but that's my hope to change my style up a little bit now one other style that's out there besides 3D animation is this picked this book by David Mack to me this is a different style of comic books I've seen something that anybody can do because you know you don't need to draw but that's not also the that's not the only style I'm looking at but this is what I'm looking for not so realistic but not so abstract I'm not trying to be a comic book American style nor trying to be a manga I'm not really cartoony either and watercolor watercolor oil and acrylic to me are take a long time to do but they make a very interesting book very interesting image and I would hope that something like this will start being seen more and more in comic books. I'm sure people can say, hey, you can do this in digital. Yeah, you could. But to me, still digital doesn't have the chaotic effect of watercolor and acrylic and oil. That missing mathematical equation makes it uh, something I don't know what to say yep skip some of these pictures ooh yep yeah. can't show that ooh though we can't show that either there we go that's what I'm saying that that would be the real next level you can find something like this in Heavy Metal Magazine and it looks beautiful. To me, watercolor, acrylic, and, and watercolor, acrylic, and ink lends itself real well to just a nice comic book. And that's where I want to try to go is try to get into more inky. Just ink work. Solid black, solid white. You know, ink work. To me, this ain't got nothing wrong. I kind of got some of these pages separated because they got some nightmares. I like this. That brush group right there. The watercolor feel, then a solid. I think a comic book would look great like this. But the media for making a comic book like that is slow. You can't do it quick. And you shouldn't do it quick. To me, even though everybody's pumping out books like crazy I think it needs to slow up where there's no collector items anymore 
when you switch to digital you, you, you take away the collection not to say digital should be done I mean I'd rather do something in digital and make a collector's item that is more hands-on creative rare one-of-a-kind if you buy that original you bought the original kind of concept Yep, that's it for me. I'm not going to show all this book because it's not it's supposed to be a show all. Okay. But I really would like to get to this level. I can't do anything right now because I don't have any watercolor pencils, which really I would like to start off with that. But I have picked up a couple of these. It was for another plan anyway. So you may see some interesting stuff on this channel with a couple more months or years, give or take. Well, if you like this, subscribe, like, all that fun stuff, and see you around. Where are you? Sign out.